Hi, welcome to the Twin Cities Skinny, brought to you by the Minneapolis Area Association of Realtors, where we dig into the most recent numbers from our market. The housing market is moving pretty fast nowadays. Those writing offers should know that homes are selling at, or in some cases above, list price after very short market times. Those selling their homes should know that they're very likely going to get strong offers right off the bat. So once sellers list their home, they need to be ready to make their next move quickly. The number of homes for sale has remained anywhere from 15 to 20% below year-ago levels, and prices have been rising in nearly all Twin Cities communities. Pending sales increased 1.6% from April 2015 to 6,373 for the month. Closed sales increased 6.1% from April 2015 to 5,128 for the month. Purchase activity remains strong this spring, even though lenders could be slightly backlogged in dealing with all that demand. The number of homes for sale was down compared to this time last year. Inventory levels market-wide decreased 19.4% to 12,849 units. This is the time of year when many sellers list, and that is what we'll be looking for over the next few months. Prices were up compared to last year at this time. The median sales price increased 7.7% to $231,500. Sellers continue to have the edge, and higher prices will reflect that. Month supply of inventory was down 27.8% to 2.6 months. We have entered the most popular three-month period for listing and buying homes, so it will be interesting to see if prices continue to rise while supply falls relative to last year. Percent of original list price received at sale rose to 98% since last year. Sales activity should continue to perform at a high level, supply constraints notwithstanding. Mortgage rates have remained stubbornly and wonderfully low, around 3.6%. Our local unemployment rate is at a healthy 4%, and median household incomes in the metro have increased nicely. New construction has been sluggish, only making up between 6 and 7% of sales, and that is causing strain for some consumers but the general outlook remains strong. That's the Twin Cities Skinny for this month. Check back next month for the latest.